in the bag. <laughs> so first we will start off with my putters. I currently bag three different putters. Um, that is the Judge, the Zone, and the Sensei. So I currently have four different judges in my bag. I really love the plastic of these and it's, it's just the classic burst and they are so cute. I just love the design on them. So the first one is, uh, this one is very beaten and it is perfect for turnovers or if I need something dead straight, I will put this on a slight hyzer and it will just pop up and it glides forever. These two are slightly more stable, so these are perfect if there's a little bit of wind. Uh, I can just put these on a slight hyzer, it'll pop up and it will go straight. Also, if you put it on more of a hyzer, it kind of will just ride and, it's, and it doesn't have a lot of fade. So these are really awesome. And then this is my putting putter. It is my favorite of them all. Uh, I don't know why, I just, I've tried to switch my putter and I can't, it's in my head. <laughs> Another reason why I love the Judge is because there is a bead and it fits my finger really nicely, feels really comfortable, and I don't think I'd be able to putt with a putter that doesn't have a bead. So next up is my Jawbreaker Zone. This is perfect for forehand flicks. I don't flick very often, but I've been trying to do it more uh, and learn because it's just so handy to have. So this is honestly, it's, it's so perfect because you don't need a lot of speed to use it and and it ha it's so stable, so it's just it's really nice, especially when you're starting off because I found when I started flicking, I w would kind of chuck it on an angle, and this does not flip. It's, it's just weird that a putter can be so stable. So that's mostly what I use it for. I will use it if it's really windy. You just put it flat and it will go so straight. It never flips, so that's what I use that for. And then I also carry the Sensei by Discmania. This is a really cool putter. Uh, I don't use it as much as I probably should because I'm always throwing my judge, but it glides so far. It's almost like it's a mid-range, but it's not. And it's like really comfortable in your hand. The grip is nice and the plastic, it's, it's really nice. It's a really nice putter. So next we will talk about my mid-ranges. I currently have five different in the bag right now. I carry the Mako 3, the Buzz, the Meteor, the Verdict, and the MD3. So the first one is my favorite mid-range. It is the Mako 3. Uh, I have it in the G-Star plastic. So I know a lot of people don't like the G-Star plastic, but personally I really like it. Um, people think that it's more flippy, which Usually I think that is the case, but for some reason this Mako 3 seemed very stable. Um, now that it's a little beat in, it's, it's a little bit more flippy, but it's so straight. You can just throw it flat and it will go perfectly straight with hardly any fade. Um, now I have to throw it on kind of a little bit of a hyzer to get it straight. Uh, I also like to use this for little turnovers. So. Whatever line you put this on, it's going to hold it. Next is my Buzz. Uh, this surprised me kind of. When I got it, I didn't really like it. I don't know, I think it was because it was so hyped up, but um, it slowly built on me. <laughs> so now it's, it's almost really straight, and then you get a little bit of a fade. Um, it's really reliable in the wind, and it's just a really good mid-range to have. So I got this MB3 thinking that it was going to be more stable than it is, but it's not as stable as I thought. <laughs> so I actually don't find myself throwing this that much because it kind of, I don't know, the buzz does what it needs to do. Um, I just haven't taken it out of my bag yet. I throw it sometimes, but really it's, it's a really great disc, but I just find myself going to my buzz more. Next is the Meteor. I just put this in my bag not long ago and I haven't thrown it much. It's not as flippy as I thought it was going to be. So I bought this to do hyzer flips and have it turn right. But uh, <laughs> it's, I don't know, it's more stable than I thought. Maybe I just have to beat it in. But um, yeah, I have to throw this more. I still don't really know exactly what it does. And then next is my Verdict. 
Uh, I got this from the Ontario Disc Golf Championships in Ottawa this year. Uh, this is really a really good disc. It's very overstable. So this this is really awesome because I was kind of missing something that was really overstable that's not going to you know, bounce like a driver or go too far. So this is awesome. I use it for basically all my hyzer up shots or if I'm trying to get around a tree, get around a tree. Um, yeah, this is, this is a nice disc. So next up is fairway drivers. I only have two and that is the Leopard and the Disc Craft Sting. So uh, right now I'm throwing the Star Leopard a lot. Um, when I first got it, it surprised me. It was more stable than I thought. I thought I was going to get it and I was going to be, you know, doing huge S lines with it. But yeah, I kind of had to beat it in and now it's like perfect. It's really straight with a little bit of fade. Um, I can usually hyzer flip it and it will just ride straight. It's, it's really awesome. Um, I think everyone should have a Star Leopard. <laughs> Uh, next is the Discraft Sting. So I find that a lot of people don't actually know what a Sting is, but this is like honestly the best disc to have in the woods. I just find that you can do so much with it. Um, I put it on a hyzer, it flips up and it rides right, and then maybe comes back a little bit, but it's, it's so great to have in the woods because you can put it on so many different lines, it just does so many different things. Uh, this was really handy when I played um, the Toronto Island Maple Leaf. I used it almost every shot, I felt like, and it was just, it just was perfect. Um, this was actually one of the discs that kind of started my obsession with disc golf because I could throw it as a beginner and it would just go so straight. I was like, wow, I could never do that before. So. If you're a beginner, I really, really recommend the Disc Craft Sting. It's, it's a really, really great disc. So finally, we'll be talking about my distance drivers. I have nine, and that includes the Undertaker, the Pro Thunderbird, the Wraith, the Destroyer, the Thrasher, the Ballista, and the Ballista Pro. So we'll start off with the slower guys. First up is The Undertaker. I got this at the Tecumseh Corn Fest Open uh, three weeks after I started playing disc golf. So when I got this, it was so overstable to me. It was like my overstable driver that I always used when like there was wind or something. And now thinking of it, it's funny because it's really not that stable. But yeah, this is a great disc to have. It's just very straight. Um, sometimes I get like a flex out of it, but it's basically just a straight driver. Next up is the Pro Thunderbird. I actually just recently added this to my bag and I think it's a really good addition because I don't have too many slower drivers that are really stable. Um, this is great in the wind. It just holds its line, has a little fade at the end and it's perfect. So it's very reliable and this is a great disc. So next up are my wraiths. I really enjoy this disc. Uh, this one is a 167 gram and I get a lot of distance with this. So I can't really throw it when it's too windy because it really likes to be picked up and then it's just not very good. But uh, when it's calm or if I'm in the woods, this thing is awesome. You get a nice flex and then a big dump at the end. So it's really reliable when there's no wind. And then this Wraith is um, 169, so it's a little bit heavier, but it's still kind of scary in the wind, um, but not as much as my other one, so I'll often pull this one out if there's a slight headwind. And at my home course, there's always wind, so you always have to be on top of that. So next up is the Pro Destroyer. I bought this because it has basically the same flight numbers as the Wraith, uh, but it's just a little faster. So I got it in a 171 gram, and it flies mostly like my wraith, just a little more stable. Um, but it's nice to have when there is wind because it's, I know it's not going to like fully turn over and it's always going to come back for me. Next up is my Thrasher. I've also had this since the third week of my <laughs> disc golf career. And this is a great disc. It is so nice to have something where you can hyzer flip it up and it turn to the right. I don't know why, I think that's my favorite 
flight path, but this is perfect for those hyzers, flips up, goes to the right. In the wind, it's kind of scary to use this because it is understable, but that's mostly what I use it for, or big turnover shots. So lastly, I have my ballistas. So I have three, one's a pro. Um, this one was my favorite disc in the whole world. Uh, once I got the ballista, I was throwing way further than I've ever thrown before. They just glide forever. Um, this one is a 168 gram and it's now a little too flippy for me. Um, it's either too beat in or I'm just a tank and I'm throwing it and it's just always turning and crashing into the ground. So I can't really throw this unless I'm in a tailwind. So I have a full weight ballista and this is, it's basically um, flying just like my old one, but better. So I get even more distance out of this one and it's just so reliable. You get a big S curve and then a fade at the end and it gets nice skips also. So this is just, it's the furthest flying disc I've ever thrown. And up next is the Ballista Pro. Oops. I throw this when there is a headwind and I can't throw my Ballista because it's just gonna flip over. Um, this is much more stable and it still has that amazing glide. It just keeps going. So that's what I grab when there is a headwind. And that is all my discs. All right, so the main reason why I switched to a Zooka card is because it has way more storage than like a regular bag. Well, mine anyway. So I like to carry just a whole bunch of crap that I don't need, but you never know, you might need it. Um, yeah, so this is a water bottle holder and I keep my water bottle there and I have some minis and some snacks in there and then I just throw like my towel here to wipe my discs and I have this storage pouch and I keep my glasses, hand sanitizer, some more snacks, I have a pen, ponytail, marker, gum, and then inside, I just have some more minis, and I have two dry bags, Innova, and I made this one. It's so cute. I also bought this handy phone holder from Amazon. It's really nice to just have your phone there and you don't have to really worry about reaching back in your bag um, to, you know, do your scores or even that's what I film with for my other videos. I just had it sideways and it filmed and it was it was really handy actually. Um, but yeah, other than that, that's everything that's in my bag. Thank you for watching.